Hello, my fine people. It is your girly Kel. Jawan Abrams. This is a television. Okay, so today I'm going to tell you about my frustrations with um, online dating, you see. Some people will be like, oh, Kel, you're so cute and fun. Why are you dating online? I'll tell you why. Because I'm so cute and fun, I don't meet a lot of people Jawan like in real Abrams. life, you know? You've maybe seen some of my past videos and... I've told you the kind of people I meet. They're just like, no, they're just, I don't know what they're on. They're just not some people that I need to be talking to. So you would think, you know, online dating would be the solution, right? You put a picture up, a little bio. But the problem is, some people just are just a picture. There's nothing else to them. So there's a few different categories of these uh, people you can find online that are not worth your time, okay? So there's one who has like a picture of like a lion or something, or like a shoe, and they message you like, hey Empress, or hey sweetie, like, can you even have a picture, why would I talk to you? No, 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 not at all, not happening. But then there's the ones who like, they think just because they're cute, like that's, that's the thing, like they don't have to have a personality attached, so they message you like, put up my I'm light skin, okay, good for you. That, that's that. No real substance, no real conversation. Or you get those weirdos who like, they message you a couple times and they're like, oh, let's meet up right now. And obviously you're like, no, this is, I don't have enough info. So like, I've had some good experiences, but these days I just feel that because of social media and because of just the way culture has shifted, it becomes difficult because it's so oversaturated with people who just on some bullshit so it just gets harder for people who are genuine and just want to talk to some regular ass people like themselves have more than one picture Jawan don't Abrams. just put one picture of you at the mall from like 2007 and no you need more than one you need a face you need a body and like whatever you with an activity or something and do not put no group shot as your picture because how the hell are we supposed to know who you are? Don't do that. I hate when people do that. Don't do that. Jawan okay, don't. Abrams. Just have three pictures. Even like two is the minimum. Face, body. Face, body activity is the bonus, but like more than one because that's just sketch. And we're in the days of smartphones. So if you don't have a nice clear picture, I can't even help you. Like, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know who's going to want to talk to you. Abrams. If you don't have one friend, one family member to help you snap a decent picture. I don't know what you're doing for your life. You need to change your circle. But you just need to have two clear pictures. That's it. That's all you need. Mm -mm, that's it. That's it. I think really and truly you should, if you want to, use a website just because you have the ability to write some more about yourself and what you're looking for. Obviously, there's apps like, you know, swiping, Tinder happen, which I feel like makes no damn difference because literally it's just like, oh, you're meeting people based on like where you are. Like, how does that help you? Like, if they're not for you, they're not for you. Like, <laughs> with the other sites, you could at least, like, the actual websites, you can actually search, see who's, like, around you, see who likes what you like. There's just different ways to find people, so I think that it's better. And there's just, again, more variety of who's there, what they're saying, what's their sign, how tall are they. Like, that's my, my one pet peeve of these swiping apps. Why does no one say how tall they are? I'm 5'6", five, 5'7", five, maybe, so like, I don't know, and I'm curvy, so I already feel as it is, like, you know, I'm a curvy, tall-ish woman, so if I'm getting somebody, I would like to feel dainty, so like, if you're just not taller and heavier than I am, then like, I'm just not about it, and if it's a swiping app, how will I know that? A lot of guys, for some reason, just don't, they don't put that info in, and us ladies, we like to know this. You know, some of us are trying to feel dainty and trying to get lifted up, and I can't do that if you are 5'5". Five, five. Like, I'm sorry. Do no, stop. People tend to be genuine in what they actually want to, what they're actually looking for. Like, let's just say you're on a swiping app. Who cares if you just want to hook up? Like, that's mostly what the app is for. Just tell somebody straight up. Or if it is that you want a long-term relationship or a commitment like that, a intense friends with benefits, I don't know. Just tell the people. Because realistically, like, if you get together, it's not going to work if you both want different things. Like, you should never 
lie and say that you want what the other person wants so that they can want you. That makes no sense because at the end of the day, this relationship is two people, maybe it's three. I don't know what you do, but you all need to be happy. Like you all need to be on the same page or there's no point in having it. You might as well stay alone and set your ground rules before you even proceed with this person. Let them know. If they're out of line, let them know. If they're wrong, let them know. If they're right, let them know. Just communicate people and I swear to you, things will get better. Things will get easier. Come on,